Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and it's time for another Simply Sunday challenge at gettingcricky.com and I plan to link up this project to it. The challenge for today was to do a holiday home decor item and I really wasn't sure what I was going to do and then I came up with a plan. I like to decorate for Christmas like most of us do and most of my decorating is pretty much done and through the years I have I changed out I have a little half bath that I change out oh, with the seasons or periodically and so it was time to do um, change it to Christmas but over the last few months I've also changed the type of soap that I use and I um, had one year I purchased a um, soap dispenser that was Christmassy and I really liked it in the bathroom but now I'm using this foam soap that I get from a wellness company and with this kind of it has to have this special nozzle or it doesn't foam correctly and so I thought well I can't use my soap this year um, or my soap dispenser because I was out of regular soft soap or anything like that and then I thought wait I can alter that bottle and so what I decided to do was alter it with vinyl now I had one sheet of printable vinyl that came with my Imagine and um, so I followed the directions on the print printable by vinyl and it said to set your blade at two. I'm going to tell you right now that I discovered that two will not cut the vinyl, at least not on my Imagine. And I thought maybe my pressure was wrong. It printed beautifully, but I thought maybe the pressure was wrong or something. I even tried multi-cut and it just wouldn't work. And finally I decided to change the blade and that worked but unfortunately I had used the entire sheet of 12 by 12 inch vinyl trying to figure it out so um, I'll show you what I did and then what modifications I made to make this work so the first thing I did is I grabbed the Santa's Village um, Imagine cartridge and I printed these squares now if you've used the Imagine cartridges you know that you can print a 12 by 12 sheet of paper um, and your pattern is larger. The smaller to scale that you bring your um, pattern, so like this one's a 3.8 inch square, um, the smaller the square the more the pattern will condense. So this is pretty much the exact same pattern that it would be if you had spread it out over the full 12 by 12 only it's smaller and I really like that because I'm doing a smaller bottle. So I cut that at 3.8 inches and then I trimmed it down and I have this one just about ready so that I can show you. I trimmed it down, I've moved things around so much I don't know what I did with my size. I think it was for my bottle I believe it was about three, it was three and a half inches um, tall by two and a half inches wide. And then what I did is I took my corner ch um, rounder and just rounded the corners to mimic the shape of the bottle. I did that for the back here and then I'm also doing it for the front. Now the back um, I had mismeasured and it's a little bit um, narrower but it's fine. I'm not decorating the back I just wanted to give it a more finished look as well. So because it's vinyl it'll stick right on and I thought you know what this is nice because this particular soap that I purchase I um, don't have to buy a new soap dispenser every time I run out. I just buy refills and refill it. So when the season's over, I can just peel off the vinyl and I'll keep using my dispenser. So this is the first one. It's got these little candies on it and these fun little things. So then the next thing that I did is I took the Trim the Tree regular Cricut cartridge. And using the plain paper colors in the back of the Santa's Village, I found coordinating paper. I actually chose a light green and then one of these two reds. I, I don't know which one because it's laid out differently on the cartridge. But I chose a lighter green so it would kind of mimic the light colors in the back of this Trim the Tree. And then I set it up to print and cut um, the gift. So I printed the top layer of the gift in red and the bottom in green. Unfortunately, because I had had so much trouble with that, I was not able to have enough to do both the red and the green layer. 
and the red that I had I thought was too bright and shiny for this particular um, to match and so I went ahead and print I had enough to do one more so it was my last try to see if it would work and I had enough to do one red so I, pr I printed and cut out one red um, it's the top part of the gift and I cut that at two inches and then I went over to my normal Cricut with and I just had a little piece of green vinyl and it's a little bit darker than what I really wanted but because it's under the bottom it's going to work and I also um, just cut that at two inches now another thing that I've learned you have to use printable vinyl the other does not I, maybe it eventually would dry, but I I chose the dullest white vinyl that I had that wasn't too shiny or glossy thinking, well, maybe I can print on that. It, do, it did not work. I got green all over my fingers and it just didn't work. So if you're using your Imagine, you want to use the printable vinyl. So I went ahead and used my little pick to pick out. This is a pretty intricate pattern and to pick out all of the... Um, little pieces of my pattern I use my little pick and that's kind of time consuming but it's so pretty I think it was worth it and then I did the same with the green there were some extra little pieces here and so now we'll just layer them on top of each other I was a little nervous about the sizes working exactly because Sometimes the sizes just don't always work out the way you expected them to. But it seems to have worked out just fine. If I can layer them. I didn't, I, I thought about, you know, I could just use regular cardstock and do this and then just run it through the Xyron and turn it into a sticker. But I knew that wouldn't hold up for the soap being used and so I knew that wouldn't work at all. So let's set that mat aside. Okay, so now I have my soap dispenser here and let's finish it up. So I'm going to just put this gift right here in the corner, just like so. And then I also printed in the matching red, I printed little squares of red um, like this and it wouldn't even cut so but that's okay I just used my paper trimmer to cut it and then I took this bonus little set of stamps now this is a great little set and there's you can only get it as a promotional item from getting Cricky um, they actually ran out and um, Crystal told us just last week that she had ordered some extra ones and so watch the blog on kandrewdesign.com um, or not the blog but the website to see what the promotion is that will be coming up that you can um, get these I know when I got them if I had spent a certain amount and I can't remember what that amount was in stamps then it came free so just watch I don't know what her current special is on that but it's a great little set I've used this on another tag which in a few days will be coming up on day six of my um, 12 days of Christmas gift tags um, I use this but for this one I used sweet and Christmas and I use my festive berries distressing and the printable vinyl I did have scraps of it I cut out um, I cut that red square into a little rectangle and then using that festive berries distressing I cut out or I stamped sweet and Christmas and it works really really well to stamp on that printable vinyl as well so we'll just peel those backings off And this project is just about finished. Now I don't want a lot of extra decorations on these because it does have to, we really do use this dispenser a lot. Um, and so I don't want to lose the ability to, for it to be waterproof. I don't expect it, you know, Christmas is only out, it only needs to stay up for about a, a week, I mean a month. So. I'm going to actually just kind of bend that around the corner. So I'm not too worried if it starts to come apart before then, but I wouldn't want to use something that would just 
quit working in a few days. So there's our soap dispenser and it says Sweet Christmas using this bonus set of stamps from K. Andrew Design and I'll put a link to um, where you can purchase these stamps and another great set, other great stamps. This is a fun set that I have out because I'm working on other things. This is the Winter Wishes set and you know if these um, are, would be a great purchase as you're getting ready for Christmas. So um, check out candradesigns.com and I'll put a link to the stamps and um, thanks for watching tonight. Be sure and check out the other posts um, on and go ahead and do one of yours and link it up as well. Have a great night.